What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. Today is the last day of my unboxing Bonanza! Please go check out the first four parts, but only when you're done with this video. We've spoken a little bit about this group on the channel previously, so I'm very, very excited to see these brand new albums from this group. Can you guess who it is? I'm sure you already know from the title. It is Extinary Heroes. I love a good unboxing, so I'm kind of sad that the unboxing bonanza is coming to an end, but stick around because the next video is going to be a big one. So let's close off this unboxing bonanza by looking at the group with one of the best light sticks that we've seen on the channel. So let's look at Extinary Heroes' first full-length album, Troubleshooting. Here's the two photo book versions. Photo book versions. As you can see, we already have a little uh, extra little spice here and it also came with all this other extra shit so i don't really know how we're gonna do this should we look at this extra random stuff first it's your video sure is we're looking at the extra stuff first was there extra spice on here is there... i don't know like there might have been a little extra spice there but it may have ripped off i got these from k-pop time and sometimes they have like the pobs stuck to the front of the album. So I think that's what this photo card is on here, but there wasn't one on here and there wasn't a version that had one. So maybe someone stole it. Rude! As always, I have no freaking clue what these are or why I have them. Let's have a look. Good that we always do research on this channel. Look, it's more fun if I don't know what's gonna happen, you know? That's true. Let's start with this one. My favorite member of x Heroes is Gonil. I really like him because he is the drummer, which is super cool, which means he has really big arms and he likes to wear sleeveless tops. Yes, I am shallow. I also think he's really funny though. He has a great sense of humor, which I love in an idol. Let's cry into it. Might be like a little bit of a poster situation or something. Oh. Oh, double packaging. Let's look at this thing first. Okay, this might be like one of those little fold out things. Oh God, I just butchered that. God damn it. Still going. <laughs> Watch a woman fail to open K-pop stuff, the channel. All right, yeah, it's one of those little fold out cards. So we've got a nice little image of all the members here looking pretty uh, dark. Am I alone? Oh, it's a very dim concept here. But this is cool. I like all the spray paint in the background. And what's on the back? Just troubleshooting. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think they must have written these themselves because they're all in different handwriting. So I'm assuming you'll have, yeah, Julian on the front and that's probably what he wrote. It's kind of cool. And they kind of look like Polaroids. Maybe that's what they're going for. Yeah, I guess you could have this displayed in your house like that, or you can, they're perforated. So you could like rip them off and I don't know, put them in a folder or something. And let's open this second bit of plastic. Oh my God. I think they've just used like really shit quality plastic or something, because this is not a vibe. On the floor it goes. We got some stickers. Um, right, so these just look like, like a bullet holes. Is that what it is? And they're see-through. Okay, so you can like use this and then stick bullet holes. So it looks like they've been shot. <laughs> don't understand. Let's just do it. There you go. That's how you can use your stickers. What do you think of these? Kind of random. Troubleshooting? I have a narrow urethra. The pretty like edgy guy puts on his car. Yeah, all across the side. Nah, not about that. <laughs> but let's have a look at the poster. Maybe this will be a little bit nice. Oh, oh, what the hell? I'm so confused. This is perforated as well. Why does this need to be perforated? Oh no, maybe that's just the design on the target here. But maybe that's what this is for. So you can like hang this up in your house, and pretend to shoot it, and then say, oh look, I got a bullseye and stick your little bullet on there. That's so random. What the hell? I'm assuming that the other packet is just gonna be the same shit. So let's open it up and have a quick look, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. This time I'm gonna get the plastic right. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, look, at least I'm on brand, okay? Chaos. Chaos Kate, that's what they call me. That should have been like my MySpace name back in the day, you know? Kate Chaos or something, XD. I actually used to style my name as like different symbols. It was so lame. Oh no, this one's different. Oh my God. I swear to God, it's not me, it's the plastic. So this is a different um, concept here. 
Oh, I like this one a bit better. It's like brown tones, more spray paint. Oh, this is a cute picture. And then on the back, they're writing again. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, that's the same. So that must be what they've written. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then in here, do we have another target practice? Hey, look, I opened that perfectly. <laughs> more bullet um, stickers and another target for target practice. Let's stick one of these triple bullets on the bullseye. Oh, look at me, so cool. So good, now you won't be able to fold it back up again. Oh shit. All right, well that's kind of weird. Here's the two versions. Maybe we'll start with this one because we've got the little pob here to have a look at. That's gonna be the better one. Oh, Pulling is it? it now. <laughs> oh shit. Well, let's use this as a real like test of whether Josh is right. We've got Juyon on the front here. I don't know what store this pob is from or anything, but if we turn it over, we should be able to see. No. So I thought maybe it might have the store written on the back because sometimes it'll say like Make Star or like Apple Music or whatever on the back so you know where it's from. I will just have to look this up to see where it's from, but that's okay. Oh, oh, there's two. Well, that's nice. So we've got um, Guy on here as well. I'm guessing that this one was for the other version. So that makes sense. We've got one pob for each. These are nice. Concrete wall, hair is wet. That's always a nice look, I think. There must be so much hairspray in that. <laughs> oh, these sleeves are not a vibe. Let's just put them in there for now. Bye. Starting with the best version first. Here we are. Troubleshooting. Actually, this looks nicer than the other one. It's really cool. <coughs> <laughs> Excellent Heroes, first full album. Um, we've got like a black cover with some spray paint and kind of barbed wire design on here. Oh, actually, I think the other one is kind of cooler. Anyway, looks like we've got two books in here, which is always kind of exciting. The other one's got like eight. I know. I think that might be like member books. I don't know. I'm not, haven't seen it, but that's what I'm assuming. I'm just going to get straight into it. No fucking around today. Not here to fuck spiders. Have I said that on the channel before? Okay, this is one of those ones where you open it and you can actually like see the different textures. And there's some shiny bits on there that you can see and it is like matte and then shiny, which is, which is lovely. JYP. Let's get into it. Nice little slide out box. That feels very sturdy. That's nice. We've got a photo book and then maybe the inclusions are in here, which is kind of not, oh. <coughs> Which is kind of nice because then I don't have to worry about the inclusions fucking going everywhere. I'm still thirsty. <laughs> Actually, that made me feel thirsty. Spray paint seems to be the vibe here. We are all heroes. That is like their little slogan. Who was the last spray paint one? Not MCND. They were wearing like white school uniforms. Yeah, it was MCND when we were looking at the MCND debut video. I think they all had their white jackets on. So from the front, it looked like a school uniform or something. And then they turned around and it was all spray painted. That was pretty cool. But that was a really old album though. I think spray paint's just always in for some reason. On the back here, Rocker Zone, as we know. <laughs> That's so lame. If you don't know, Exonary Heroes are a band group. They all play instruments and perform on stage. I love them. I think they're great. There was a real need for a new band in K-pop, especially one with this kind of vibe and concept. I'm very, very keen on Xenary Heroes, and if you haven't checked them out, please do. Let's get into the photo book. It's really thick, actually. More spray paint. Ooh, I feel like sepia is in, you know? Didn't we have the 10 albums with all the sepia tones? Sepia is not really what I think of when I think of rock and roll. <laughs> rock and roll sepia. Oh, I like all these badges, that's very cool. Their skin looks freaking incredible, actually. The sepia tones and the way it's lit, their skin just looks like perfect. Cool guys, skateboards. What is cool skateboards? That's my man. Looking very cute. Gunnell. So they've got little letters from the members, which is always nice. All I can see is JYP. I really need to learn how to read Korean. Wow, there's so many photos of one member in a row. It's kind of unusual. Okay, here we go. Next To the next member, we have Oda here with his little tongue out. Very rude. This little letter. Wow, that's a pretty sleigh pose. Dangerous. About four different songs just came into my head then. And I think I just sung all of them very wrong. Wow, this is cool. Love a little bit of uh, waist action. God, all these poses are so sleigh. <laughs> What's going on here? 
Oh, he's the one that's doing the, the painting, the spray painting. Well, that's not a spray paint. That's a, actually a paintbrush, Kate. Yeah, wow, he's looking great in this album. Oh, hello. Now we've got this unit. These photos are all like very different vibes. I feel like their facial expressions are like really different vibes. Kind of, kind of like it though. Jungsu, and here's this little letter. Why so confused? Are these all gonna be the same? concept, the same outfits. They are nice though. I really like it when they put these like skirts over pants. I think it looks so cool. It's really in, in K-pop right now. I'm just gonna talk about 80s. Do I talk about them in every single video? Honestly. <laughs> they did a stage the other day of work where they literally worked in so many skirts around the side, around the back. One of them had like a skirt around, like a sash. I really liked it. It was cool. Is that a skirt if you put it? <laughs> You just call it every piece of fabric that ATs touches a skirt. No, it was a skirt that had been repurposed as a sash. Don't question me. Skash. Ooh. Julian playing his bass guitar. I don't know if that's a recommended way to play a guitar, just half out of a window. Gan and Junhan. I love him with the long hair. It looks so good. Oh, they're out at the window too. Pretty. Oh, what is that in his mouth? A stick? Lollipop. Thought it was a cigarette at first. That would be a crazy concept. Smoking, the concept. Pencil in mouth, writing songs. He's so good at playing guitar, it's crazy. Letter from Junan and some group photos. Yeah, so it looks like all the same concept in this photo book version, which is okay. I, I do quite enjoy the photos. I think there's a nice variation of poses and like lighting and stuff, so it is nice. Oh, I like this picture a lot and the list of the songs at the back. This is the title track, but it's actually in English, it's um, Little Things. Oh, the good Charlotte. Little things, little things, they never go away. That pretty much sounded like Good Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> this title track, I was kind of taken off guard, to be honest. All their previous title tracks have been like real punchy, like heavier kind of songs, really upbeat. And this one is not at all. It's much softer. Like it's still kind of punkish, but like pop punk, slow pop punk. Emo-y. <laughs> it's like a really shit explanation. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the title track. I do enjoy it, but it's not my favorite. And I think there are a lot of better songs on the album, to be honest. Specifically, No Matter is really great, Undefined, Pain It, <laughs> Money On My Mind, and Moneyball. So I'm basically just listing most of the other songs and not the title track as ones that I like. My favorite is probably Moneyball because it's the most like metal. We got these teasers before it came out that sounded like super heavy. And then they released that title track and I was like, what the hell happened? But when I listened to the album, I kind of saw that a little bit in Moneyball. So check that one out. It's really, really cool. So they pulled an ammo, did they? Classic. So all the singles were like the heaviest songs on the album. And the rest of it was just like, da na 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 na. I also have a question about title track. So isn't the title track the track that's named after the album? Or does that mean it's a different thing in K-pop? It's a different thing in K-pop. Sometimes the album is named after the um, title track, but it doesn't have to be. There's not even a song called Troubleshooting on here. I don't think either of these says Troubleshooting. Well, actually, I don't know what it is in Korean. I was just seeing if this was like, like if you read it out from Hangul, it sounds the same as the English word. So they just call whatever the main single is. Yeah. Like the song that they promote, the music video comes out. That's what the title track is. Okay. Learning. Josh is learning. Comeback. They just had a song released two months ago. No matter. Okay, no, I'm not singing. Matter Here's the lyric. I do. No matter what I do. <laughs> just the lyrics at the back. I'm sure the boys had lots of involvement in the composition and the lyrics. And then at the back, some more spray paint. Yay! Rock zone. Yeah. What's this? It's a shaka Yeah, but I was trying to do this. That's also wrong. <laughs> Let's get into the inclusions then. So it looks like they come in their own little separate pouch, which is always nice. Yay, everything is face down. Oh, oh it's shiny. Let's put those over there. Do we only get one photo card? Rude. Here's the CD. That's actually pretty cool. The barbed wire on there. One of the better ones I've seen recently. And looks like we get some little postcards here. Just one with x heroes on it and them all doing the rock hand, which I can't do. A nice picture of them all smiling. Cute. 
And what is this? Oh, a poster. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's not a poster. Excellent Heroes photo essay, and it's got what looks like files here. I thought Excel immediately, but it's just the Excellent Heroes logo. Okay, they're going for like a uh, Windows type concept here. I don't know if these are like little messages from them. Oh. I don't really know the point of this, but it is kind of cute. Legend fighting. And let's have a look at what else we have here. Looks like some stickers. Whoa. Ooh, these look cool actually. x Heroes actually usually have pretty cool stickers. Got all their names, x Heroes, troubleshooting, and then the little X, and what is this? Uh, an F? Okay, nice stickers. I actually really like these. Looks like they're hand drawn as well. That one's really cute. Let's have a look at what we have here. Looks like we have some like ID type cards. This one already, we already got given away that it is um, Juyon and a very strange drawing. I don't really know what that's supposed to be. Let's have a look. Oh, oh I thought it was a, a unit photo card, but it's just him in a mirror. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't usually like these photo cards that come with different like shapes and sizes. It kind of pisses me off, but you know, it looks cute. And this one, does it say anything on the back? 020114, what? Does that mean anything? Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, whoa, it's like a Pokemon card. <laughs> oh, I like this. So we got Gaon, he's a guitarist, so it says guitar. And then it's got like a list of stats here or like rhythm number, melody number and harmony number. Two, zero, one, zero, one, four. Oh, that's what that number is. Okay. But what is, what does it mean? What, what does, does it mean? mean? I think it's cool. I really love the shine and I like that it reminds me of a Pokemon card. <laughs> Maybe you can play a game. It's like, choose your hero. And then you're like, Gaon, I've got rhythm number 20 and that beats your rhythm number and then i don't know what happens you get a pat on the back <laughs> I don't know. all right and let's have a look at the photo card who we got i feel like it is gone for some reason but we just got him but i've got i've got a feeling let's have a look nope oh my god i've lost my skills we got junan here with his long hair i think he is looking very good these days and his confidence has grown so much on stage Love to see it. Very, very proud of him. This makeup is great. The dark eye makeup, always a fave for me. I like it. I like these, these ones are really nice. This, you know, I just hate that it's like, why didn't they just make it another photo card? Is it even the same size? Yeah, it is, but the corners are cut. Why? Why would you cut the corners off? They always seem to have loose stickers for some reason. At least they're not in like a stapled packet. Do you remember that album yeah. where the stickers, that was x Heroes. The stickers came in a pouch like this, but it had like a piece of cardboard with a staple in it. And it was included like right next to the photo cards and all the photo cards got fucking staple dense. So at least they haven't done that this time. The photo cards look perfect condition. Here we go. The shit version, apparently, according to Josh. Uh, this time we've got like a more white cover, but very similar with the spray paint. Warning, all rights reserved, unauthorized duplication and rent is prohibited, printed in Korea. Same on the back, lots of words. Ooh, see, look, I'm very excited about this. This is interesting. Looks like we've got a bunch of different books in here. So let's get in here. I'm, I'm frothing. All right. All right, I think this must be where the inclusions are. So let's, but there's also a book in there. I'm so confused. <laughs> let's put, the last one. All right, so let's have a little look here. I'm assuming each of these is for the members. So let's have a look. They are. So we have Juyun here and I guess his own little photo book. I wonder if there's anything like in these. Doesn't look like it. And then we have Junan, Oda, Gaon, Jungsu, and Gunil. That's nice. I like this. This might be a little time consuming to go through all of these books. But let's just have a quick look. We've got a different concept here. They're in a tech warehouse, lots of wires, lots of wires. And he's sitting behind a broken television. This is very unique, actually. It's better than having like a member version for like three different things, like Zero Base One. They've decided to have member versions for three different versions. So there's so much shit to collect. This is all in one. Thank you, Xenary Heroes. The necklace is pretty cool. Is it like watches? 
And then another message from him in the back. I wonder if it's different from the other photo book version. Guess we'll never know. Oh, this one's flowers. Why am I alone? So emo. Ooh, well, it looks like a casket. <laughs> what is that? A bathtub with a doona in it? This is a really depressing photo book. Ursty. This is cute though. I like the hat. You know, these photos are lovely. And a little message. In a little pillow fort. Aww. I thought that was a cloche. So you say it? Cloche? Cloche? I think I'm getting hungry now. These are all pretty different from each other. Oh, They all have really cool hats. Oh my god. That scared me. Like a random shadow there. It's there again. Oh my god. There's some weird... Oh. Who is that? This is making me think of spider webs and that's not... That's not helping. Baby! Baby! Baby. 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 You, do again. <laughs> <laughs> you always do that. Every single time. These earrings are pretty cool. He's looking very slay these days. Obsessed. Band-aids on the fingers, I need those. Like, apologies everyone, my fingers look like an absolute mess. Being pretty stressed. <laughs> yeah, not about these spider webs, it's kind of freaking me out. Ooh. His pants, pretty nice. He's got band-aids on his ears as well. What is going on? There is something creepy about these. I feel like maybe these are all about different fears. That's what I'm getting. This is the fear of people. What a mood. Some uh, floppy disks on the wall there. Probably doesn't know what those are. Ah, okay, this makes me feel really anxious. <laughs> mood, just want to stay at home in the dark. To your fancy. Hmm, and what do we got here? Oh, this doesn't look like a fear. Fear of clowns, maybe? Birthdays, getting older. He looks cozy. Oh, maybe it's being scared of being alone on your birthday, getting old alone. Oh, see, more cool hats. So that's all the little photo books. That's nice, I like that. But I was getting kind of freaked out. All right, <laughs> let's get into the inclusions. The front of this looks kind of like um, upbeat vibes. So maybe the inclusions will be a little bit less creepy. And there's the picture of a dead body when you're <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> all right, and we've got another photo book. Like what? Okay, oh, we've got like the lyrics and stuff in here. So I think that's just gonna be all this book is, which makes sense. Money ball! And the CD at the back, barbed wire fence. Yeah, these designs on the CD is actually quite cool. Another book. <laughs> so many books. In one album, we've got six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books. Love that. Yes, this is the same as the other one. A couple of postcards, these are different. These are the outfits from their little individual photo books all together. So that's really nice that we get a photo of them together in this concept. And oh, instead of the rock hands, they've gone with just their heads in the middle. That's pretty cute. I like that. Okay, I saw the back of this. So we actually have my favorite member. So that's cool. But it is the photo card with the cutoff edges, which we know I don't like. And a little weird drawing here. Let's turn it over to see. Oh, oh, this is cool. What do you call it? Infinity mirror? So I think Zero Base One did pods where they had that infinity mirror thing. I always like those. Pretty bent. Is it? Oh yeah, it is a bit bent. Oh well. I wonder if the actual photo card's bent. Let's see who we got for this one and what their stats are. This is kind of nice. The colour, love it. And we got Julian. He plays the bass. And here is his little code. And he's got the highest for melody number, I guess. Um, he is actually a very good singer, so that kind of makes sense. 020912. Still not entirely sure about how these work, but yeah, I guess you could fight them against each other. Garn would win with his harmony number. Maybe we can play with those later, Josh. No, thanks. <laughs> I'll get the full set and play the whole game. Some stickers, these look like they're the same, so I won't grab those out, but I do like these, so it's nice to have another set. The photo card. X New Heroes, troubleshooting first, full album. Who are we gonna get? Ah, we got Oda, looking cute in his purple jumper. I really like those earrings. Like all of Exonary Heroes, their fashion is kind of like quite eclectic and all over the place. And they wear like a lot of clothes that, I don't know, not traditional male clothing. Um, I always really like that. Let's have a look at the things that we pulled. Here are my pulls from Exonary Heroes' first full length album, Troubleshooting. 
We have our little Pokemon cards here, our annoying cards with the corners cut off, our pre-order benefits, and the ones that we got from the photo books. Actually a really nice spread of members here, I've just noticed. I'm always happy to get a nice spread of members for a group where I don't really have like a super strong bias and I don't collect anyone seriously, so I'm happy. Thank you so much for joining me for the last episode of my unboxing bonanza. I should have changed it to boxing extravaganza. <laughs> Please look out for my next video because it's going to be a pretty big one and I think you might really enjoy it. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so, so much to me. Let me know which was your favorite video of my unboxing bonanza and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Same intro every time. You can change it up if you want, but... No, I like it. <laughs> well, then don't fucking complain! <laughs> So let's look at Xenary Heroes. X See, <laughs> Feel the color, man. What else can I say about this? Say no, no comments at all? No, <laughs> I'm just like, mm, no comments. My hands are fucking cold. Maybe that's why I couldn't do the... Come on, they are so bad at singing. <laughs> <laughs> just... That was probably better than... than fuck... What's their names? Ben, Benji and Joel. Benji yeah. and Joel Madden. I was kind of into them in the past, but yeah, they can't sing for fucking like, shit. I can't do anything. <laughs> None of them have any talent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if, are they industry plants?